doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's a big deal, a total eclipse of the sun, and one is coming in just under two weeks. And unfortunately, we are not in the best position to see it here in Southern California, but we can get a partial view. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Caputo, he is live to tell us more about it. Hi, Tim. Hi guys, you know, listen, it's still going to be nice. We are closing in on the big day and the cool thing about an event like this is you don't need one of these fancy solar telescopes they have here at the observatory to see it. You really just need to walk out maybe into your yard and look up. Keeping in mind though, even sunglasses, if you think those will do the trick, these are not enough. You're going to need something a lot stronger to protect your eyes. It is something you truly don't see every day, but for the first time in seven years, a total solar eclipse will pass over the U.S. And maybe no surprise, Griffith Observatory's director, Dr. Ed Krupp, thinks the April 8th event is out of this world. And it is the most spectacular thing that the sky does, you can see with the unaided eye. Dr. Krupp and dozens of others are headed to Mexico, where it'll be a total eclipse with a path passing over Texas, the Midwest, and up into New York. But that doesn't mean we'll completely miss out here in Los Angeles. We'll get a partial eclipse. Just under 50% of the sun will be blocked by the moon. If you're paying attention, though, you'll probably sense a little bit strangeness in the light. It'll be just a little bit off, not a lot. Well, not everyone is going as far out of their way as Dr. Krupp. Many say they'll still make an effort to see the eclipse. Um, it would be fun to be able to do that, you know, in a perfect world, but um, probably at least view it from where I am. This is a different type of stargazing because you won't need to drive to dark areas like Death Valley to see it either. You just need a clear view of the sun. It'll appear in the morning between 10 and 11.45 on the 8th. And while the eclipse won't be as spectacular on the West Coast, safety rules still apply. After all, to see it, you'll be staring right at the sun. You'll need more than just sunglasses, too. To safely view the eclipse, you should wear these special eclipse glasses or through a special filter. The sun is just as damaging when it's partially eclipsed as it is when it's just fully out there and bright. You wouldn't stare at the sun under normal conditions, and so you shouldn't stare at it during partial eclipse. For those less scientific, we found at least one person who has an uneasy feeling about the rare alignment and how it'll somehow impact his daily life. It kind of disrupts things that are normally taking their course. I took the glasses off while they are very useful, not terribly fashionable. And if you're thinking to yourself, all right, I'll skip this one, wait till the next one comes around, don't hold your breath. The next time something like this will happen in the U.S. 20 years from now. So make sure you get out there on the 8th. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.